The next step I'll take is to include either a text box, image, embed a website into the site, or get something from Drive. So to do that, I just click on text box. So notice when I click on text box, the text box appears in here. And I can type a text if I'd like to. If I want to insert an image, I click on images, and I can either upload an image from my computer or select one. I'm going to click upload to see how to do this. Now I have this picture of my classroom in here, so I'm going to just hit open, and it's going to upload in there. Now notice I can adjust the size, I can move it around, and do all kinds of different, uh, I have all kinds of different options with this. Now if I click embed, it's going to ask me for a URL of a website that I would like to embed. I could do that. Or I could even get a document from my drive. So if I wanted to add this tutorial on here, I could double click it and it will add that into my website for me.